while you're out collecting wild edibles, you should know about their toxic lookalikes as well as any other toxic plants that you're likely to come across. And as a matter of fact, a lot of wild edibles do have parts of them that are actually toxic. In this series, I call it noxious plants. Plants that's gonna make you sick, give you diarrhea, cause you to have a bad day, possibly even kill you. So let's go have a look, see what we can find. Hi guys, Dave here from Wolf in the Wild Survival with a noxious plant for you for my noxious plants series. Pick the only branch that didn't have ripe berries on it. European buckthorn. These are mildly poisonous. I don't imagine that anybody would eat enough to really, really bother them uh, because they have a very, very unpleasant taste. But when they're ripe, they're, they're very dark, almost black. And sort of a semi-clear liquid and a whole bunch of seeds. So even if this was an edible, there really wouldn't be that much to it. Now, one way to tell that this is European buckthorn, see how the, the berries are they're pretty much growing right off of the branch. And they usually will do that in clusters. Like so. There's a good example right there. So, the, um, the usual effects uh, of, of eating these things are, are probably, you know, the same as almost anything else. It's mildly toxic, you know, upset stomach, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting. I don't know of even one reported case where it's killed somebody. Uh, probably because they taste terrible. They're really, really bitter. They're, they're, they're not, not something that you would want to eat. But in a desperate situation, I suppose people might eat enough to make themselves sick. Uh, but like I say, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen even one documented case where someone has died. It's fairly mildly toxic. But um, <clears throat> there you have it. A, a, a fruit-bearing tree that does bear a resemblance to a lot of cherry trees, but this is European buckthorn. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope it helped somebody. And I'll see you in the next video.